Hey there, welcome back to the Humble Coder. I am Rahul and in today's tutorial we are going to dive deep into the fundamental concept of React which is list rendering. Whether you are a React newbie or a seasoned developer looking to enhance your skills, mastering the art of rendering list in React is crucial for you. So let's jump right in. First of all, before we get started, let us clarify what is list rendering is all about. So the topics that we are going to see in this video is what is list rendering, then we are going to look at map function after that we are going to see what is the importance of key and at the end of this video we are also going to look at an interview question so first of all let us understand what is list rendering basically list rendering involves efficiently displaying dynamic list of data on your applications user interface now let's explore the most common technique for list rendering using the map method so what i have done here is i have taken a numbers array and this array contains integer values from 1 to 5. Now we are going to render it on the screen one by one in the form of a list. For that what I am going to do is I am going to write JavaScript code here. So first of all we are going to map over the numbers array. So numbers.map. So the, what this will do is this will one by one map over our numbers array. And from that it will give us number which is the each value inside the array. And after we get each value, what we are going to do is using the arrow function, we are going to display it inside a list. So we are going to make use of li. Okay, and inside this, we are going to display our numbers. So each number one by one, what this map function will do is this will display it on the screen. Now let us look in the browser. How does it look? So you can see in the browser, we have the values from one to five represented as a list. Now let's go back and look at how can we render an array of strings. So till now we have uh, render an array of numbers. So in the same way, we'll see how can we do it for strings. So for example, I'll take some sample values in my array. So apple and banana and strawberry. So I have taken some values. Okay, so basically three values and the name of my array is now fruits. I'm just changing the name so that it will be meaningful. So now what we are going to do is we are going to map over the fruits array and every time we are going to get a fruit and what it is going to do is it is going to display a fruit. Once I save it, now when we go to our browser, you can see the fruits being displayed as a list on the browser. Now. One important thing to note over here is till now we have not added a key key as a prop to this li. What I mean is we can add a key like this and inside the key we can add a unique value. So our fruit value is unique you can see in this array and similarly in the previous case our numbers value was, an, was a unique value. So that is what we can use as a key. So you can see in the UI there is no change but key is very crucial because re remember when rendering the list always provide a unique key prop to help react optimize the rendering process so this key that we are providing will help in the rendering process so that is why it is very helpful also there is one catch that is a word of caution using the index as a key can lead to problem especially when it is when the list is modified key should be unique and stable so the first point that you have to take care is that a list should all uh, a key should always be unique. For example, if our uh, if our list was something like this, where it has two apples, and if I save it, then you can see we have two apples, right? So which means that this fruit value is not unique; it is getting repeated. So in this case, it is not a better approach to select this fruit value as a key. We should always have a unique key. So other option that we can have is a index value index what it will do is it will take the index value of the array that is 0 1 2 3 and so and so forth but again it is a word of caution that we should very less use the index as a key because this can lead to problems especially when the list is modified so make sure that if you do not have any unique value try to give it an id or something which is unique and try to less use index as a key so now let us take another example here this time instead of an array i am having a object okay so this is a user object and this contains different entries in its 
in itself so the first is id and the second is name for every user so this is our object now if we have to display the name of every user how can we do that so for that what we are going to do is we are going to iterate over the users object so we are going to again use the users dot map and once we have a value that is user so this user will contain this single object value okay the entire details of a single user so once we have this what we are going to do is we are going to display the name inside a list so again i'll have a list tag and inside this what we have to display name so in, instead of directly writing name what we are going to write this time user dot name okay so what this is going to do is this is going to take the name of the user from this entry now once we save it you can see alice bob and charlie that is all the users name we can see on our screen so in this way we have uh, rendered a list from a object so previously we have seen how to render a list from an array and now we have seen how to render a list from a object so till now we have seen all the important points about list rendering first of all we have understood what is list rendering how can we render a list using the map function and after that we have understood the importance of key prop and also we have seen that we should very less provide index as a key and now it is time for us to look at the interview question so moving on the interview question is once you have the array of user objects how would you use react to render the list of users name along with their age so for example we have this users object which has data about a particular user so the data for a user is id his name and the age of the user now what we have to print or display in the list is the name of the user along with their age so how can we do that now let us look at that so we have taken this new users object where there are three entries for a particular user the first one is the id the second is name and the third is age so now we have to display the name of the user along with this age so how can we do that first of all we are going to iterate over the users object using the map function then we will have the details about every single user in that what we are going to do is we are going to display a list okay so for that i am going to use this li and inside this we want that first of all the name should be uh, displayed so user dot name and after that the age should be displayed so user dot age so in this way first of all the name of the user will be displayed and after that their corresponding age will be displayed also make sure to give key always so in this way the unique value that we have is id so we are going to give it as user dot id so once all of this is done we'll save it and let's look at our uh, browser window so you can see alice has the age 25 bob has 30 and charlie has age 28 so this is how we have solved our uh, interview question that is if we have multiple data in our objects then how can we display that in the form of a list so i hope now you have got the understanding of list rendering in react.js so list rendering is a powerful skill in react that can significantly enhance your application's user experience thanks for tuning in to today's video if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more React insights. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, drop them in the comment below. Until next time, happy coding.